Hello. There are a lot of reasons that I love Snagit, which is a screen capture program. I use it every day. But if you ask me, show me one reason to use Snagit, here's what I came up with. And I have lots of reasons to use it. So I went over to Microsoft Word, and I just made up this simple Word document. But assume that this is an annual report or an important Word document. And if you notice, at the bottom of page one, there's a paragraph. I'm going to triple click a word, one, two, three clicks. That selected the paragraph. That paragraph cannot break across pages. It either needs to be at the bottom of one page or at the top of another, but it can't break. So if someone said, Chris, how can I get this paragraph all on one page? The steps are go to the Home tab, top left corner, Paragraph, uh, group, open up the paragraph dialog box, which most people never know that that's right here. Click it. And then when you're here, line and page breaks, but by default, you're on indents and spacing. So step three is click on line and page breaks. Step four, keep lines together. You need to check that. And the fifth step is to click OK. I'll see if it works. Perfect. That paragraph is now at the top of the next page. Well, that's a lot of steps to write, and I can tell you from experience, the minute I tell someone to open up the paragraph dialog box, they're not going to know where that is. And then they may get lost when I say click on line and page breaks tab. That's a tab. So here's what I would do. I'm going to put this right here. I'm going to use Snagit and do a screenshot. I just captured the screen with one click. The Snagit editor opens. There's my screenshot. I'm going to select more steps. Over to the right, my steps opened up. You pick whatever color you want, you can either do a number or a letter. I'm going to just stick with this default right here. So step one was to click on home. Click. Step two was to open up the paragraph dialog box. Click. Step three was to select line and page breaks. Click. Step four was keep lines together. And step five was to click on OK. Right there, there's a screenshot with the steps instead of a really long email that they're not going to understand anyway. One thing I would do, since I'm in Snagit and I just showed you how to use steps, I would, that paragraph dialog box is hard to figure out if you don't know what you're doing. So I'm going to go to Shape. I can either do a rectangle or a circle. Just keep the circle. How about that? And then from right here, I could just email it to them by going to finish. That'll actually start my email program. There's other ways to share all right here. But if you ask me for one reason to use Snagit, I've got at least 12. That would be one reason that I would show you. Thank you for your time. If you're interested in Snagit, feel free to click the link below in my YouTube description. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I have a couple webinars coming up. Also, click down in the description of my YouTube, and you can sign up for the webinars. Thank you.